Hey, hey everyone, how is everybody doing today on this fabulous happy Friday? This is Tina the Keto Coach with Friday Night Treats with Tina. Glad for you all to join me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Oh, last week I think I shared with you all that I didn't have air conditioning. We got air conditioning now. Yay. Thank God. Yes, indeed. So other than that, I'm going to just, like I always say, thank you for showing up, for coming, for supporting me. Those of you that support me and watch me every week consistently whenever I'm on, um, just thank you all for sharing my links, sharing my digital business card, for um, thank you all for joining and um, becoming members of all my different various social media because I'm just a regular person. I don't have all this fancy smancy stuff and doing all of these extra things that some creators are able to do. It's just me by myself um, just doing this because I really want to help people and tell people my experience and how living a ketogenic, low carb or carnivore lifestyle has definitely benefited me. Slowly but gradually, but yes, it has benefited me. So Instagram family, thank you for tuning in and watching me. Um, I, I, put, I put my phone up on a, a thing that's a little higher, so maybe the, the, the view will be so much better. Thank you for watching me. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, indeed. And um, I think sometimes I get these advertisements and these things from people. Oh, would you like to do this with your social media, with that? And I'm like, well, I already do all of those things. And you cost money, and I can't do that anyway. <laughs> so other than that, you know, I am here. Today's treat will be keto pound cake. Sometimes you just want a plain, regular, old-fashioned something to do. So I've never really, to be honest with you, a fan, too much of a fan of pound cakes, even when I was eating stuff that had flour and sugar in it, you know. I like cake, you know, with the frosting and maybe just a plain cake that didn't have frosting, but pound cakes to me used to be too dense or too heavy for me or something like that. I don't know. So right now I found a nice recipe that's pretty good, that's pound cake, and I know some of you like that as a staple just to have in your kitchen, something to go to when you want something sweet, and this is pretty simple and easy. I'm not going to hold you all too long like I did last week, although we know last week's recipe was actually pretty good too and everything, so feel free to go back and check that out and make copy, um, just review, take your notes and all of that stuff and everything. So, and also I want to talk about um, keto things, especially being a woman, stuff that we kind of go through, which is determining between fat that you're losing and body composition and how sometimes losing the fat doesn't necessarily show up on the scale. I've stopped really weighing myself. I don't weigh myself as I used to. Um, I look at clothes size. You know, and some some of us, and I think I've shared with you before, my body takes forever to do certain things. I'm not one of those people that will drop weight in a matter of a couple of months. It may take me years to lose 10 pounds, and I've had that happen to me. Five years, still stay in the course. Um, back then, I seldom um, refed on things. I, I used to take occasional breaks, but... Recently, I had to really, really amp it up, especially since I'm somebody that's over 50, in my mid-50s, actually, almost in a few years, hard to believe I'll be 60. But um, I find that I want to be able to show people, first of all, no matter what type of lifestyle change that you're doing, that you have to stay the course. <clears throat> you can't give up. You have to be on a continuum to see your results. So I'm kind of thankful, to be honest, maybe that it is a little slower for me. Maybe I'm somebody that's here that's actually real, if you will, about my journey and what's going on. So like I say, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, I'm not licensed in anything medical at all, whether it's um, allied health field or just the health field, not at all. I'm coming to you with my experience and what I've gone through. And I hope that this encourages you or people that you know to stay the course, especially if they're following the ketogenic, whether it's low carb or even a carnivore lifestyle or diet. I kind of fluctuate between all three of them and everything, so I do that. So right now, I want to go ahead and start this process of making this pound cake. I'm going to start off, I already had some, two sticks of butter out um, 
they have to be at, um, softened and they are definitely softened now. So I'm just going to use a stick and a half of unsalted butter. Of course, when you make your treats, unless it's specified, you want to go for the unsalted, no question. You don't want salty desserts, that's for sure, unless you're doing salted caramel, but that's still different. So I'm going to go ahead and put a half a stick of this butter in here. Put this on the side. And I'm going to go ahead and put the whole stick. Usually to cut it in half, you can eyeball it pretty much. And you see it is pretty soft. Now a while back, I made this recipe and it called for two whole sticks of butter. I didn't really care for that. I think it just made it kind of oily, if you will. Although when you're following keto, yes, you can have your fat and eat your fat and enjoy it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some sweetener. Let me see. Let me get my other measuring cup. So this is going to be a little bit over a half a cup and maybe a little bit less than a half. I can, I can actually use this. So I'm going to go ahead, let me make sure I have, I have my swerve sweetener, <clears throat> a little less than two thirds of a cup. And y'all know I like to mix my sweeteners with the keto friendly brown sweetener. I love doing that. I think it gives everything such a nice flavor because it's like actual brown sugar, but keto friendly. Let me grab that. I'm gonna add some of this brown sweetener so I can get the measurement that I need. That should do it. No question. Yeah, this is good. This is about right. And like I said, you can experiment. One thing about making these desserts, you can experiment with which type of sweetener that you like the best. Now be mindful, because there was one that I was using for a long time that I had a certain name. I still like their products, but you have to be careful that it doesn't have sugar. They'll say cane sugar or organic sugar. You don't want that either. If you're following keto and carnivore, that would kick you right out of ketosis. You won't lose weight, you'll start to gain weight and all of that. So I don't know why these companies are, I guess they're not really studying what us keto people and carnivore people and low carb people are really looking at in detail because it does affect the body and you won't be happy. <laughs> so make sure that you are using a keto friendly sweetener that has no sugar, no cane sugar, no organic sugar, don't even use agave nectar, no type of agave, no honey, or none of that stuff. Because you will have issues with setting your body in line. I don't, even, I don't even like to really talk about losing weight. But sometimes you'll have situations in your um, journey where you'll notice that this type of lifestyle is improving other things in your diet. Say, for example, with me, I mentioned before, I no longer have the seasonal allergies. Well, even some of the allergies that I had towards certain fruits, that's a big blessing. So be mindful of all of that stuff that, you, that you're doing, because that will make a difference. And you'll be wondering why you're still struggling or why your body isn't reset yet. That's one thing about this lifestyle. It resets certain issues that you may have, even some issues that you may have medically like i said i'm not a doctor go see your doctor talk to your doctor and yes you can find doctors that are knowledgeable of keto low carb and carnivore lifestyles that understand even understand the blood work and everything i'm glad so many more are getting on board with that i really love that you know I know this is this lifestyle is so contrary to everybody the trending with the being a vegan or a vegetarian but they still have a lot of the medical issues and problems but like I said I'm not a doctor you talk to your doctor about things 
frankly, I, I'm glad that I found a lifestyle where I can eat, still eat meat, no matter what kind of meat, and be satisfied and reap the awesome results and look healthy. Like I said, I have a ways to go. I still want to see lose some more weight, but if it takes me a few years, that's fine. And one thing about those of you that are following this lifestyle, even when you reach your weight goals or your size goal, remember I said earlier, body composition, especially for women, can um, be quite paramount because you can go down to a size four and still be 150 pounds at five foot two. But you know, because you got muscle, because you're working out and stuff. That's some of the things that I'm experiencing with this lifestyle. And that's fine. Look at your body composition. That's what's important. And you want to look healthy. You want your skin to still be elastic. You know, some people, even my doctor was like, okay, your skin looks good for you to be in the age range that you are and um, the amount of weight that you've lost over time. I think the benefit is definitely being ketogenic and carnivore and it's taking my time and yes I do exercise in the back. So what I'm going to do, I already added my eggs and I'm going to add rum extract. Woo it's Friday, right? No, I don't drink regular alcohol, although some people can still do certain things like vodka and I think rum, regular rum on keto. I think you can. And I have coconut coconut extract. Like I said, try the different extracts. If you want to use banana in this, go right ahead. Flavor it, flavor it on up. Mm, the coconut smells so good. Love it. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And I want to add my almond flour. You know I love almond flour. Some people have to chill out on the almond flour a little bit. And this is going to be two and a half cups. Some people have to. So you can go use coconut flour, but the recipe would be quite different. And I do have some recipes of a basic cake that I've used in the past. Get that in there. <laughs> Look at me. Y'all see I'm really cooking for real here. And this is two and a half. Let me get this half cup. See what I do? I try to get it smooth so it can be even at the very top when you see me getting in this bag. Okay. Next, I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon, and move this out the way, of some um, bacon powder. And I like to make this even. Don't be afraid to get in the kitchen. And to be honest, there was a time, no, I didn't care for cooking. But I knew I had to do it for my health. It would be better for me. And then once um, <laughs> the big C came around and everything, my husband and I happened to go to a local retailer that had delivery service. I'm not going to say who that is. Poured a cup of salt. Um, and I was amazed at the way the person's car looked. When you... I think it wasn't even a car, it was actually a van. Oh God, it was horrible. And I'm like, people are going to these services and having food delivered to them. Wow. <laughs> I was like, nope. I think I'd rather go and get my stuff myself and do everything and all of that stuff. So I'm like, hey, delivery service, no. <laughs> I'll just get the groceries and buy them myself. And it was like, I didn't even want to um, even stuff that's not cooked and imagine the things that are cooked. That's why I've never ordered from some of those um, retailers that offer that. Because people look for convenience. Well, cooking sometimes can be an inconvenience, but sometimes it's something that you have to do because you know where your hand's been. I'm sorry. But other than every once in a while, like this weekend, I've been invited to a birthday party it's tomorrow evening. 
I'm going to go. I'm, my mind is going, okay, what am I going to eat? <laughs> is, will, there any, will there be anything there that I actually can eat? So which means since it's late in the evening, I'm just going to go ahead and eat something at home first. And if they happen to have something like some steamed shrimp or something or whatever, then okay, that's fine. So just be mindful and just be careful. That's, that's all I'm saying. Oh, oh, this smells so good. Yes. Love that. Smell it. I wish you could smell. Smell a vision. So I got this done. Just, see, it's pretty easy. Pretty quick. Pretty simple. See how that looks? See how that looks? Pretty easy. Pretty simple. No problem at all. And so I'm going to still keep this here for a minute. And I'm just going to take, I have avocado oil spray. And I have my bacon loaf, my Pyrex loaf. I'm going to go ahead and put this. Spray that. Some people use parchment paper. Nah, I don't really need that for this. This is fine. And next, I'm going to go ahead, clean off my spatula, with my spatula. I forgot what you call these things. Because you know me, I don't like the waste. If you can own it, the texture is really, really nice. And if you want to frost this, if you find a keto-friendly frosting. Um, some companies are trying to make that. They're two top, um, I guess, processed or cake box companies out there that compete with each other. One of them had ingredients that weren't keto friendly, although it called itself keto. And the other one actually had keto friendly ingredients. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, you can buy that or just try to make your own. Like I said, um, Look up stuff. Find things that you can add to this, you know. Like I guess with this um, rum and this coconut flavor, you can make a nice cream cheese, um, what is it, coconut frosting, if you will, to put on top. But I'm just going to make this plain as a plain, simple cake. Sometimes that's all you want with your, with your tea or your cup of coffee, whether, even if you have it for breakfast in the morning or as your Friday night treat. You know, sometimes you just want to do that. See how I make sure I clean these things off. See that? <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead. I love the texture of this. And put this inside of here. I might need a bigger spatula. Because it's pretty thick, pretty dense. Like, even when you know, pound cake is kind of dense. Even when you're making it the traditional way with the flour and the sugar. Getting this in here. And yeah, like I said, um, difference between weight and... Um, body density. I'd rather have the muscle on my body and be the smaller size. I'm not worried about the weight. I'd rather have the muscle. And I was inspired by a, some young lady, I think a couple of years ago, that had a picture of herself on um, social media. She had, she talked about, well, she had an example. It was pretty extreme, but I believe her. Body composition. She was 180 something, 182, I think. And the way she toned up, I guess she said she still changed her diet and followed the exercise program, but she was frustrated because she looked good. I think she dropped quite a couple of sizes, more than two sizes. She only lost two pounds, but she looked absolutely gorgeous. Everything was toned, fit, and everything. It was awesome. So I think about that person that keeps me, helps me stay the course, and of course, the, um, the benefits that I constantly experience with following this lifestyle. So you still have to make sure you understand that. And then, yeah, sometimes um, 
the body, the weight chart and all of that stuff that the medical profession still uses, I don't think it's conducive or specific to certain um, groups because of even your bone density, let alone your muscle, you know, which creates your body composition. So yes, look at your body composition. How is it changing? I mean, you may be two or three sizes smaller and you might even still be the same weight but you're two or three sizes smaller. I think that's what's more important and that's the perspective that needs to be taken and shared for that. That is for sure. That is. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how this is, this is a thick batter. It's pretty thick. I'm gonna go ahead and doll this around, smooth it out in there. Um, oh, and another thing, sometimes you'll find a lot of these recipes, the jury's still out for me as far as protein powders to use in a lot of recipes. I find my body don't care too much for them. I'm trying to find out, is there a specific type that may be good for people like myself? So I'm going to shake this. like you would any other cake batter. See that? I wish you all could smell it. It smells so good. That coconut and that rum flavor since it's still summertime, trying to give it that tropical feel, if you will. So I'm gonna put this in my oven right now. I'm actually gonna put it on 350. And when you put it on 350, it's going to take like an hour to cook, as with most pound cakes. It's going to be an hour. So, um, clean my hands, clean my little workspace area a little bit. Not too bad, not too shabby. So, yeah, so definitely please talk to your doctor, you know, um, if you're considering any type of lifestyle change. You know, it's, it's interesting that that's what we have to say to people, but it's like, well, people are eating stuff that's not good to them, good for them, so it's like, okay, but you don't ask your doctor if you can have that bag of corn chips, or um, the potato chips, or that regular cake that's made with flour and sugar. Well, anywho, talk to your doctor, you know, hopefully you'll find one that's willing to work with you and help you out through your journey because there are some things that are contrary to what they've been trained to do that a lot of people do experience with following this particular lifestyle. There are some things with the cholesterol, but as long as your triglycerides are low, you're cool. Um, I'm glad my doctor understands that. I even had to do a calcium score, which was zero, you know, which is kind of across the board for follow people that follow this particular lifestyle. It's either extremely low or um, it's um, zero, you know, and usually most people, once they pass 40, have some type of calcification in their arteries. So still work with your doctors, talk to your doctor, and unfortunately, if you do have to do a calcium score, if they're worried about cholesterol numbers, but not really looking at your triglycerides, um, well, just remember that you might have to pay out of pocket for the, um, the, um, the score, the calcium score in some places, some places your insurance might just cover it, your medical insurance, but you know, it's all about getting your health, things, things take time. This is, this is the process for me that I enjoy. I think, and I, oh, and I'm blessed, I have one dear friend, her name is Abby. Thank you, Abby. Every time we're out together or go to her house and everything, she always accommodates me. She's the only person that I know that actually, okay, I know you can't, can you eat this? I know you don't eat that. She's the only one don't make me feel like, okay, um, why don't you take a break or here's a treat, but I don't even see it like that anymore. It's like, um, I don't, I'm, why do you feel like I need to take a break? It's not really a break. I actually enjoy this lifestyle and I'm reaping too many benefits other than weight. As far as I'm concerned, even if I never lose another pound again, but the fact I'm reaping so many benefits from this particular lifestyle choice is good enough for me. 
it really is. It's good enough for me. And I just want to share and hope all of you experience the same thing. Just hang in there. Be patient. Take your time. Drink your water. You know, and make sure if you're following this program that you're getting enough potassium, magnesium, and salt. And I noticed since I've been adding that in my um, lifestyle, um, I'm sleeping better. Believe it or not, you, salt. We usually we're taught the contrary, that you shouldn't consume too much salt, but make sure it's good mineral salt. But when you're following this lifestyle, it's okay. You actually, your body needs it because you're not getting enough of it. So I'm actually doing that, and there are benefits with that that will help you sleep. But sometimes when you're following this type of lifestyle or regimen, you have a lot of energy. And sometimes at night, I used to have trouble winding, winding down and getting to sleep. So now that's been so much better because I love sleep. That's one thing I love to do is to sleep, <laughs> you know. But I'm getting that back since I've added um, the um, potassium, magnesium, and salt, the mineral salt to my, and I add sometimes a little bit of salt to my water and just drink that throughout the day or whatever have you, as long as you have under a certain amount. And I got this, I, of course, um, and it's good to have, and my mother-in-law, she does this greatly. Get your morning sun. Try your best. I keep forgetting, but try to get out um, in the morning to get the morning sun. The earlier, the better. You can get out in it to exercise or just to sit in it, bathe, get your little downloads, as they say, or whatever. And I make sure I don't even have my contact lenses or glasses on. I just go outside. No, no wigs. Just go out. It, even if it's just for three to five minutes, that helps you. Also, that helps with your melatonin levels to help you sleep at night. Because some of us stay in the house too much. You'd be surprised. A lot of you won't have to use the other types of supplements at all. As long as you get that morning sun, because your eyes need that morning sun in order for you to sleep well at night. Isn't that interesting? So some of you probably won't even need to be taking the this, this, and that. Other than if you're following keto or carnivore, make sure you are getting your, your magnesium, your potassium, and your salt. Those three things are paramount. But other than that, yes, I see a difference. I'm learning that like, this is a process of learning more and more and more. It's like you want to know more and you want to learn more. So feel free to take this journey with me. Contact me if you want me to be your keto coach because I am certified to be a ketogenic coach contact me call me I have my information you know leave a message you know and everything but let me know I'm here to help you you know I'm here to help you and um, do and your um, what would help help you do the process of you becoming my client and signing up and signing on and all of that stuff and things that you need to do or have in place let me know I look forward to serving you and helping you. And once again, thank you so much. This is Tina, the Keto Coach, with Friday Night Treats with Tina. Yes, indeed. So enjoy the pound cake. Tell me how you like it. Enjoy it. Oh, by the way, I forgot all of this. Let me show you. Here is one. My family and I already started cutting some. And she's like, how could she forget that? <laughs> I almost forgot. And I like it because it still has that crunchy top. Like most pound cakes will have. See how that looks? Let me hold this up for you. See that? See that? And that crunchy top? It is delicious. Of course, you know I've been eating some. Mmm. And it's buttery. Love it. Like I said, it's not too sweet. It's just enough. It's like I said, to take that sugar craving edge off you. Put this back up here. But isn't that nice? Look at that. And it's moist, and it's soft. The crunchy bits are at the top. Delicious. Another thing about this lifestyle, eating these sweets, 
you don't have that heavy feeling like you used to have. You don't want to. You don't feel sleepy. You don't feel heavy. Um, you don't start to get congested. Yes, some people do that when they eat stuff with regular sugar and flour. You feel normal, and you don't have to eat, and you can't eat as much of this as you did the traditional desserts before. Love this. Once again, mm. getting in order. This is Friday Night Treats with Tina, and this is Tina the Keto Coach signing off, and thank you once again for joining me. Don't forget to feel free to copy, send this, share this to people that you know, people that you love, and help them with their journey. If you know somebody that's interested in this type of lifestyle and they need some type of support, and all my links, you'll see my private keto chit chat group, you'll see my digital business card, and my other links that you'll see in there also. Feel free to make a copy of it. You know, keep it with you. Go ahead so you can go ahead and go through my digital business card and join my um, other social media so you can see me everywhere if you choose to. Thank you for joining me. Have a fabulous, safe, happy weekend. And y'all have fun, peace, love, and many blessings to you all. Bye-bye.